Hello everyone, we've come to part locks today, we're going to show you how to shoot uh, certain stands and we're, we're going to do it as normal speed with the camera <coughs> on certain birds and then we're going to follow that up with a slow-mo on the same bird and just to try and show you the, the kind of lead that each target needs. We're going to use the um, the fibre watch today, some of the fibres that you've seen on uh, on the pattern plate. I'm going to use the 28 gram 7.5 uh, blue diamond fibre and then we're going to use some black gold um, 8 fibres. As you can see I'm taking this target on while it uh, it is in full flight and uh, edge on. It's, it's pretty quick. I'm giving it about two or three foot but moving the gun all the time and uh, the, the fibre wad are making a very good job of it. Right, this little crosser, it's, uh, it is edge on when it comes out. So for people that are not uh, very confident in edge on uh, clays, there's an alternative solution to this one in particular, if you've watched the stand before you've actually gone on to shoot it, you'll notice that it comes out edge on where I've shot it before and then you'll see it then as it starts to fall, it turns around and shows a full clay and that's when, this is all, an alternative way to shoot it if you're not very confident in shooting edge on clays. It's crucial that you pick the right moment to shoot just as it turns, that's when it will be at its slowest in the air, and that's when you need to shoot it. Uh, you can see I'm um, just stepping a couple of foot, still in front, and a, only a foot underneath it. After that, if I miss that chance, if you leave it too late, as I say, it will gather speed again, and will become a more difficult bird. This is uh, stand two, it's an incomer. Only dropping about 25 yards in, so we're just doing uh, steady targets to show everybody where the lead is. Quite simple target. As you can see on the uh, incomer, I'll do the same. I'll always wait while it starts to tilt up just before it gathers speed to go down at its slowest point foot underneath the clay bang we're on the rabbit stand now rabbit's about 25 30 yard away and uh, it comes out bouncing away there the main thing is uh, let, it, let it develop and i'll be looking to shoot this midst in the middle the centre of its path. If I miss it with first barrels, just check my gun and don't shoot it too quickly again. Just let it settle a little bit. And I'm going to shoot these. With my favourite 28 gram fibre, black gold, eight. The more space you've got, the more chance you've got of killing a rabbit. Uh, most rabbits are overled. The main thing is uh, obviously trying to avoid the the dreaded rabbit jump. And it's cost people competitions. Uh, if I hit at the rabbit in full flight and all of a sudden it leaps in the air and it's too late, you pull the trigger. One of these rabbits, you could see it's, it's come out bouncing, but this had gone down the bank and it's gone off the flight path altogether, but that would be considered a good rabbit to any, uh, any referee. So if you didn't shoot at it, just because it rolled down the bank and you might finish up with a loss. Sometimes they leap out, they don't just come straight out on the ground. If it leaps in the air, have a shot at it while it's in the air. Later on in the, uh, the series, we'll tackle the, uh, the edge on rabbits and show you how to kill those. They're not everybody's cup of tea, but we have to learn how to shoot them. This is uh, the fourth stand. Uh, it's a single. It's a uh, nice, little left to right crosser but showing plenty of belly plenty of time to shoot it and what I've seen on a lot of uh, shoots is they'll drop something like this in with a fast bird and usually put the fast bird on first 
and just drop this bird in and people tend to overlead them then you know you've got to really check yourself you know, it isn't doing a uh, it isn't coming out at a pace it's, you've got plenty of time to shoot it and we'll just see what sort of lead that we want on this and how much time we have actually got to shoot it what I tend to do with these when the the, uh, the fight from the floor of course and I'll just fetch my gun up to it just a little bit of lead on it pull the trigger I never try to come from behind these targets because you can soon rush them I just cut them off very simple uh, as you can see on the slow-mo the clay requires very little lead a couple of foot at most Keep the gun moving, of course, but when I'm taking it here in the slow mo, you can see it's actually just starting to curl down, and I'm conscious of that and pushing the gun down at the same time as well as putting the lead onto it. I'm going to try and cut this clay off as fast as I can because I've got one that's going to be, I can't get to it quick enough, it's going to be dropping in the pond here, so I need to kill that quick and get that while it's still in the air. So I'm forced into cutting this off as fast as I can. Bang, straight on to the next one. When I have to get quickly on a uh, target like this, <clears throat> I usually start with a, uh, my gun pretty low so I can see the target come out of the ground and uh, putting a bit more lead on than it previously wanted where I waited at the end of its flight path. This is a pure choppy movement, just solely to get to the other target. And while we were at Parklotch filming these slow mos it was nice to drop on this uh, little charity event that was going off at the time. Uh, Parklotch, uh, they run a few of these little charity events. And they've got a little pool shoot going. I, I did shoot the high score on the pool, but unfortunately, because I wasn't in any team, uh, I wasn't able to claim any prize. But the lads that were shooting it, uh, that, were, that were in the actual final shoot-off, they kindly asked me to uh, to referee for them and uh, and to uh, to press the button for them which was quite nice of them and I was quite willing to help them in this way everybody enjoys it it's just a pleasure to be out uh, shooting with friends and at the same time raising money uh, for these worthwhile causes if you get chance give it a try it's it, as I say it's always for a, uh, a worthwhile cause this is a very good, very, very good way of uh, proving that the shooting fraternity is a very caring community. Young Ben Gates, what, what have you won? Have you won the six glasses or the yeah. eight glasses? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a worthwhile cause anyway, yeah. isn't it? Well done, lad. We really enjoyed Lovely. it. This is a pair of uh, simultaneous targets. So you've got to really pick one out that you're going to be able to get on straight away. Kill that one before moving on to the second target as fast as possible. You must remember when you come from the first target that the second one will be dropping and that you must get that gun underneath that second target. A good tip is this, if you miss the first one with your first battle, give it a second battle ensuring that you've got at least one out of the two. We've just finished at Park Lodge doing a little bit of slow-mo stuff. We've gone on some really uh, gentle targets, well, some nice targets with, with plenty of belly on, so you can see what these fibre wads do. And that's all we've shot today, the, uh, the black gold uh, eight fibre wad and the, the blue diamond seven and a half, 28 grams, seven and a half, post 28 grams and uh, just to show you what the what they will do and you, you know you can't get away from it this the, as good if not better on short range stuff than than plasmods you know they they open up a little bit uh, sharper a little bit sooner than the the plasmod so ideal for for rabbits close and stuff but i've got a lot of confidence in the uh in these fibers on uh, on long range stuff you know we're going to do a bit of that next week uh, but that's just gives you a good idea of uh, 
uh, you know, of what these uh, pattern like on, on the, the actual clays, the targets ourselves, and then we'll follow it up with with our pattern testing. We're, we'll show you the uh, the results of the slow mo on our pattern test with the the black gold eights.